The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of PalTalk.com, AVM Software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of PalTalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet. With more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my blog, GaryBombgarten.com, where you're encouraged to post your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not, no retribution. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're syndicated to an additional 12 million households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. I welcome you to the show. Uh, before we talk about today's uh, subject, which has to do with the debate in specific over health care reform and in general, the antipathy that goes on between the political combatants in our nation, and I want to express again my fear uh, uh, that, the, that there could be violence as a result of this partisan bickering that is going on in our nation. Uh, I, I want to thank uh, Boaz Frankel for uh, being with us here today. With all the wildfires out there in California, I thought you might get evacuated. What's the story out there? Uh, Gary, believe me, if a fire was anywhere near me, uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't argue with the uh, with the police or the sheriff's department about getting evacuated. But this seems to be the uh, the case with a lot of people that live uh, in particular in the uh, area of uh, Palos Verdes, which is south of Santa Monica, down the coast, the Pacific Coast Highway, where the fires are, uh, since last night, completely out of control. Uh, structures are burning there. Houses have burned down there. Uh, a lot of people have been evacuated. But uh, there are some people that uh, simply will not leave their houses uh, uh, until they absolutely have to which, according to the police and the sheriff's department, uh, is putting their li- they're just simply putting their lives in danger uh, because, uh, you know, y- you're sitting there trying to uh, defend your house. You know, some of these people are on the roofs of their houses with, uh, with water hoses trying to water down the, uh, the, the, the rooftops of their houses because there are burning ambers flying all over the place. It only takes one burning amber to uh, set uh, a house on fire. So the police are having problems with uh, evacuating people. Uh, it's uh, not a good situation at this point. Uh, you can see all over the basin of, Cal- of, of uh, Southern California in the Los Angeles County area uh, the, um, the very thick plume of smoke that is, uh, that is just uh, hanging over the city right now. Well, if memory serves, isn't LAX somewhere just south of Santa Monica there? Uh, is this affecting flights to and from uh, Los Angeles International Airport at all? Uh, I haven't heard anything about that. Yes, that's right. Uh, the Palos Verdes, which is the, uh, the 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 biggest area that's burning right now, uh, is um, is uh, it's about I would say about 15 miles south of uh, Los Angeles International Airport, and certainly the airport is affected. I don't know to what extent, but I haven't heard of any uh, flight delays or anything like that at this point. Well, let's hope they get this uh, wildfire contained. I know there's already a water shortage in uh, Los Angeles County and other parts of California. Um, there's also a shortage of money. So uh, well, it's a mess. You, know, you talk about a uh, water shortage, Gary. Actually, uh, it was, uh, uh, let's see, when you were uh, away and I did the show uh, last, uh, it was, uh, I think, on Wednesday. Or I don't remember what day I did the show. It was Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. I read a letter that I got from uh, my uh, landlord uh, explaining the water shortage in uh, Los Angeles County or in, in, in general in California and how to save on water. So if he's sending uh, a letter out to his tenants, it means that um, he has received a notification from the uh, county of Los Angeles Los Angeles, specifically from the uh, Department of Water and Power, to start conserving water because what happens is is that 
when, when, when mandatory conservation of water starts, what the county does is, or that is what is LADWP does, Los Angeles Department of Water and Power do, is they give you an allotment of a certain amount of water per month. If you go over that amount, they start fining, uh, they start fining you. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, and, and we've seen this happen years ago, and it's happening again uh, this summer. So we know that there is a uh, there's a mandatory uh, conservation going on right now. You know, we haven't even started the discussion about uh, the debate over health care reform, and somebody's already evoked the term Nazi into the uh, discourse in the uh, virtual auditorium here on Pal Talk. Uh, Harley Ryder refers to uh, environmental Nazis and health scare Nazis, uh, and, and and I'll tell you. Uh, I'm tired of hearing uh, opponents of somebody's point of view referred to as Nazis. Anybody who knows anything about uh, uh, how the Nazis treated people know that these aren't Nazis. The people who are, have, a, have a strong point of view, you may not like the fact that uh, uh, their point of view is uh, forcing regulations down your throat. This is true, but they are not Nazis. And that goes right to the point of our uh, subject today, and that is the, the, the level of discourse. Now, you know this is not the first time that I've raised this issue here on News Talk Online on PalTalk.com. And I may be boring you with it, but I can assure you it won't be the last time. You know, up until now, most of the vitriolic uh, discourse has come from the right, screaming at the pro health care proponents or any member of Congress who might even consider voting for the health care legislation. Yesterday, I believe it was, John McCain got shouted down at a, a forum in Arizona. It was pretty, pretty horrible. And when I made mention of it during the show yesterday, Eric from Brooklyn, who is a liberal, said, there's karma, yay! Well, Eric, if it's wrong to yell at the left and shut them up, then it's wrong to yell at the right. I want to tell you about a story that you probably heard about already. President Obama had a uh, town hall meeting, and there was a guy outside protesting. The guy outside came carrying his assault rifle and a handgun to make a point. Because, well, after all, the Second Amendment gives him the right to do that. Some people felt a little ill at ease about the fact that he was doing that. Yes, he does have the right to carry it, but wait a minute. Do you need an assault rifle when you go to a, uh, a political rally? Are you kidding me? When the President of the United States is there? But okay, let's just take it at face value that he was just trying to exercise his Second Amendment rights. He's trying to make a point that he doesn't want his right to have his guns taken away from him. And so there you have the story. Some people who are appalled by the fact that he carried it there, 